my favorite passages in Scripture is in Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. In Ephesians chapter 3, starting in verse 14, this is Paul's prayer for the church. And it's a prayer that I've come back to over and over again, not only for myself, but for the session that I've worked with and the church. So I just want to read it to you. This is beginning in the 14th verse. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes his name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. For me, I, I pray this prayer often for the leaders in my church, um, and I love it when I get to pray it over a couple at a wedding. It's Paul's prayer for those early followers of Jesus who are trying to know what it means to follow in the way, who are struggling to figure out what it means to love each other and love their neighbor, and to proclaim a crucified and risen Lord. And so, indeed, it's a prayer for us as the Church of Jesus Christ.